Fulani professional group correlation of fully be professions in Africa has distanced itself from a statement altered by one Halaraji Hassan Sela, the National Secretary of Mietihala Katohiri, which claimed to be against the candidature of former Anambra State Governor and the candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, in the 2023 presidential election. The group enjoined Nigerians to disregard any statement from Mayor Tihala Katohore saying the group did not speak for the Fulani ethnic group or represent the Fulani in any way. Ah Asanin, who is the National Secretary of Mayor Tihala Katohore, the most controversial Fulani group in Nigeria, heard in an interview with a, a national paper said the Fulani nation will not support the candidature of Obi, who is contesting the 2023 presidential election under the Labour Party. How Asanin had described Peter Obi not only as a tribal bigot, but also as someone who hates the North and by extension the Fulani tribe. He said the leadership of the group has instructed every Fulani in the country not to vote for Mr. Peter Obi because, according to him, Obi is a tribal bigot and represents the Biafran interest, which would not favor the Fulani nation in Nigeria. The National Secretary General of the Fulani Social Cultural Group had noted that as far as Mietihala is concerned, Obi is out of the options of the persons to be voted for in the forthcoming elections. As far as we are concerned, we know those who cannot vote, who we cannot vote for, you see one that they call Obi or obedient. Any Fulani man who votes for him must be questioned because he may not be a true son of the soil. Obi represents the Biafran interest. So we know those we cannot vote for and those that cannot be president of Nigeria, he is a tribal by God, he said. Her Asani claimed that when Obi was the governor of Anambra State, he destroyed the businesses of Northerners and chased plenty Hausa and Fulani people from entering Anambra. But the Fulani group operating under the umbrella of coalition of Fubi professionals in Africa picked hole in Har Asani's claim. The Fubi professional group in a statement signed by Professor Mohamed Gidadu, its national president, and Hajaya Maru, Maru Madibo, the national secretary re respectively, said why it acknowledged the group's right to freedom of expression and opinion it will remind them that they don't have the right to speak for the entire Fulani in Nigeria, especially when they have not lived up to expectations. In a statement to, his, to this effort, the group said, FIBO people all over Nigeria will not be bonded by that politically sponsored statement of Mietihala. Our attention has been drawn to a sessional unpatriotic, ungodly, and senseless statement credited to one of our brothers, Alaji Hassan Saleh, the National Secretary of Mieti Hala Katohori, the most controversial Fulani group in Nigeria, which no doubt is responsible for the bad name Fulani nation has been branded with in Nigeria. The phobia all over Nigeria will be bonded by that political would not be bonded by that political sponsored statement of Mieti Hala of Mieti Hala anymore. The Fulani people are wise now and cannot be used as tools of extortion and religious sentiment anymore. We will enlighten our people to vote for competence and capacity come 2023.
We will never vote for any candidate who has nothing to offer. We have gone far beyond religious and ethnic sentiment. We will vote for a president that will tackle poverty and acute hunger that have held our people hostage so for so long. We will vote for a president that will fight insecurity with every commitment and unbased mind. No matter who is involved, the statement read. The group said, our respected tribe group, Miet Hala, should channel their campaign to redeem the bad image they have created for Fulani people in Nigeria, rather than casting aspirations on Peter Obi, who has demonstrated capacity to rescue Nigeria from the current hopelessness. We wish to also make it categorically clear that we have not endorsed Peter Obi or any presidential candidate in the forthcoming general elections, and we are not Peter Obi's mouthpiece. But it is wrong for our people to continue to brand Peter Obi as tribal bigot and that he does not like the not, the group said. The group said available data has shown Peter Obi is an ardent nationalist that believes in the unity of Nigeria. We therefore call on our brothers in the Mietihala category to only speak for their group rather than misleading Nigerians that they are speaking for the entire Fulani people. They lack the moral, spiritual, and religious right to speak for the entire Fulani people in Nigeria, especially when they have reduced themselves to tribal bigots that have no regards for other tribes and faiths and group. The group said, according to the group, Nigerians have taken position in the forthcoming election to vote for the best man for the job and cannot be distracted by any selfish agenda and blackmail. As campaign starts, we shall mobilize and enlighten Fulani young and old to every rugas and turn to sensitize our people so as not to be deceived by Miet Hala Katohori. And it's like the statement added. Wow. This is coming from Fulani professionals. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.